So I'm here in Freedom Park again. In UPLV. Pretty much I like this place because you got benches that you can sit on, that is chill at. And uh, pretty much the view's okay. You got greenery, it's peaceful. Sometimes you're gonna see people playing football, frisbee. They actually have a volleyball set up right now, so I don't know if there's it's already midterms for the university students, so maybe this is a PE two class and they're gonna have their they're gonna have their <laughs> uh, I guess midterm exams in volleyball and they're just doing it here in the field. Anyways. Um Yesterday, I was talking about my son and his, you know, me and my son's adventure with school, right? I was talking about how we were, we are coping up with him transitioning from play school, play school to kindergarten. And I really am weirded out by the fact that he's in kindergarten and he already has quarterly exams. But apparently that's the norm. So forgive me if I don't know. He is my first child. So I really don't know anything about school now. I don't have nephews and nieces that I'm really close to that I, you know, saw growing up. So this is a totally new experience for him. So the whole day after school, we, we just spent we just spent reviewing and doing his homework. Towards the night, of course, we had dinner at around six six in the evening. We, we already had dinner, and we were eating outside. So he was sitting beside me. He was having his dinner and. You know, th that's the time where, where we actually get to, well, we, we always talk, pretty much. We have nothing to do but talk, right? So I turned on Spotify, and um, we got to listen to music. And I don't know what just came over him, but he just called my attention and said, Mom, I want to be a dad when I grow up. I was like, okay, son, but why do you want to be a dad? And he goes like, and he said this with all conviction and all seriousness, right? He said, because, mom, I don't have a dad. And when I grow up, I want to be a dad. I want to be a dad so that I just want to be a dad. <laughs> I guess he can't really... You know, he can't really express himself why he wants to be a dad, but I, I got I got a feeling that it's because his classmates are talking about dads and he doesn't have a dad. But he's saying that because I don't have a dad, I have a mom, but I don't have a dad. So when I grow up, I want to be a dad. I mean, I can't find... Of course, it's it's a child's logic, right? I, I can't understand what he's talking about. But I got a feeling that because there is this fodder figure lacking in his life, he wants to have it filled, and he thinks he's the best person to fill that role. He's, did I mention that my son is four years old? But the way he thinks sometimes just boggles my mind, it just freaking surprises me, and I'm left with my mouth agape, and I'm just mind blown with the ideas, or with the statements, sentiments that's coming from this kid, and it's good if, I mean, it would, it would be very, it would make sense if I actually fed him ideas about it. But we seldom talk about him not having a dad. We more often talk about the videos that he's watching on YouTube about Marvel Avengers, which he calls Avengers, by the way. And this is just totally, this got me blindsided. And I guess it has something to do with 
he feels that there's something lacking that his that his classmates have dads and he doesn't have a dad. And of course, as a kid, you seeing this as a norm, like everybody has it and you don't have it, of course you're gonna be thinking, why don't I have a dad? Right? So I'm pretty sure there is envy on his part. But instead of being rebellious, envious, angry about it, he what he does is he thinks that he could fulfill that role, which is kind of sweet. I mean, who would think that? Not even an adult. I'm pretty sure not even adults would think that way. So, what I'm trying to point out here is, as, as he grows older, I'm becoming more scared. Okay? Because I really don't know how to explain how things came to be. I was prepared to explain the gay lifestyle to him. Like, yeah, you have two moms because this happened, that happened. But if you guys know what happened in my life, my uh, we had, I, I had my son with the next. So we were a couple and we had our son. And then my ex just suddenly just left us. No, it just totally disappeared out of our lives. And now I'm just taking it in strides and, you know, wait for the day where when I would actually need to answer the questions of why. Which is weird, I know. But I'm thinking he's four years old. He really doesn't have to. And, you know, he doesn't have to have the answers to the questions of why. Why am I, why do I not have a dad? Why do I only have a mom? Why don't you have a boyfriend? Or why don't you have a husband? You know, those questions, I'm, I'm, I was thinking it's not the right time to a- answer that question or those questions yet. But last night is a little bit of a reminder that he's not gonna be stuck in the, you know, Avengers zone forever he's gonna be come he's gonna become more conscious of what's happening around him he's gonna become a more conscious individual and he deserves explanations and he deserves everything he deserves his questions to be answered at this point i am just trying to i'm just trying to be chill but i'm really scared as fuck because I, because I don't know how to explain things at this point. And then, you know, I have to compound it with the idea that, okay, he's, he's going to be asking, okay, well, you're single. I mean, I'm just, I'm single right now. But what if, if it comes to a point that he's ready to ask or he's already asking those questions and I'm with someone else? Now, how will I explain that? I was ready to answer the question of, we are your parents. I'm not ready to answer the question of, well, she's in my life now and she's your parent as well. I wasn't prepared for that. I was prepared for a totally different scenario. But I'm just getting way ahead of myself, right? At this point, I'm single, I'm gay. And I have a four-year-old son who's asking, He's not really asking, but I have a four-year-old son saying, I don't have a dad, I have a mom, and when I grow up, I want to be a dad because I don't have a dad. He's taking it upon himself to become the father figure. I know he's a kid. He's definitely not a mission, but he knows, he's, I feel like he's such an empath. Right? That's that's what I I, I feel about my son. I I feel like he's a member. And all I can do right now is just make him feel that he's welcome. And maybe as time goes by, I'll be able to answer his questions. And I really hope that I'll be able to answer his questions satisfactorily. So, yeah. That's my entry for today, and fear parenting really interesting. And I'm still going to wait for that choke to move. Still got an hour, though.
So I hope you guys are going to do a good day. Ciao.